Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, the electric flying car of the future. Remember those futuristic scenes from movies like Blade Runner and Back to the Future? Well, it seems like we're getting closer to that reality. In this video, we'll explore the history of flying cars, the challenges they face, and the potential solutions that could make them a reality. So, let's jump right in. Believe it or not, the concept of flying cars has been around for over 70 years. Back in 1940, Henry Ford himself predicted the combination of an airplane and a motor car. And in the following years, aeronautical engineer Ted Hall successfully built the first fully functional flying car. However, due to a crash landing during a test flight, the project was abandoned, leaving the dream of flying cars behind. Since then, there have been numerous attempts to develop flying cars, with companies like Terrafugia, Aeromobile, and Mahler International actively working on prototypes. However, the main challenge lies not in the technology or cost limitations, but in human reliability. We all know how reckless some drivers can be on the road. Imagine those same drivers flying vehicles in the sky. The safety concerns are immense. Additionally, modern buildings are not designed to withstand collisions with flying objects, making the idea of flying cars a potential hazard. But here's where things get interesting, the rise of driverless technology. Self-driving cars have already paved the way for a new era of transportation, where computer systems take the wheel, eliminating the risk of human error. And surprisingly, building driverless technology for flying cars is even easier than for regular cars. In the air, there are no pedestrians, road obstructions, or potholes that could pose a challenge for a computer system. This is why driverless technology was first developed for airplanes and has been utilized in airfare for decades. Recent advancements in sensors, computing, and AI have further accelerated the progress, making human pilots almost unnecessary. Now, let's talk about the big players who are actively working on the realization of flying cars. Three major Silicon Valley companies have shown a keen interest in this futuristic concept, Uber, Larry Page's companies ZEE.Aero and Kitty Hawk, and of course, Elon Musk. Last month, Uber released a white paper outlining their vision for a global, shared, on-demand aviation service using flying cars. Their plan, named Uber Elevate, envisions a world where driverless, flying vehicles operate through the Uber app. Larry Page, the co-founder of Google, has also invested heavily in flying car startups, with ZEE.Aero and Kitty Hawk both focusing on developing prototypes and pushing the boundaries of aviation. And even though Elon Musk doesn't believe in the conventional concept of flying cars, he does have plans for electric aircraft. Musk envisions a supersonic electric jet for long-distance travel. So, what does the future design of flying cars look like? The answer lies in tolls, vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. These vehicles use the same technology as drones, enabling them to take off and land vertically, eliminating the need for runways. One of the most exciting prototypes is the Ahang 184, unveiled at CES 2016. By utilizing electric motors, these tolls are not only environmentally friendly but also easier to produce and maintain compared to traditional combustion engines. Thanks to advancements in battery technology and electric motors, these vehicles can be more energy efficient, having multiple thrusters for enhanced safety and agility. And guess what? They are surprisingly silent during flight. So, how will flying cars revolutionize transportation? The potential benefits are numerous. First and foremost, these vehicles could drastically reduce traffic congestion, as they won't be limited to existing road networks. Imagine a world where you can travel unimpeded in a straight line, reaching your destination in the shortest time possible. No more being stuck in traffic jams or relying on congested highways. Plus, this would lead to massive savings in infrastructure costs. Uber estimates that with mass production and adoption, tolls could be cheaper than owning a car. Long-distance commutes could become a breeze, with shorter flight times and affordable prices. However, it's important to note that flying cars still face significant challenges. Regulations from authorities, safety concerns, and advancements in battery technology are just a few of the obstacles that need to be overcome. But if we've learned anything from recent innovations like self-driving cars, the Hyperloop, and reusable rockets, it's that human ingenuity can overcome seemingly impossible challenges. The dream of flying cars is still alive and well. So, buckle up, my friends, because the future of transportation might just be in the skies. Marty, as Doc Brown once said, where we're going, we don't need roads. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. And if you have any thoughts or ideas about flying cars, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, fly safe.